वेलकम टू माय क्लास इंट्रोडक्शन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड टेन सब्जेक्ट हायर मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नेम सॉलिड जियोमेट्री एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन लेक्सर थ्री टूडे लेसन discussion of some important formulae and solve the problems related to the formulae at first we have to know the definition of prism definition of prism is a polyhedron bounded by two parallel polygonal faces and the other faces always being parallelograms follow the figure here are huge number of faces that is top face bottom face lateral face or surface etc but this face and this face are parallel and these are base of this prism okay and other sides that's mean this side this side this side that are parallelogram okay follow another figure these and these are parallel that's mean top face and bottom face are parallel okay but this shape and this shape is a triangle and other shape that's mean these these and back all are parallelograms clear the parallel sides are known as bases and the sides are that's mean other sides are known as lateral faces if all the lateral faces are rectangular it is called a right prism follow the figure this and this are base okay but lateral surface that is this 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 and this all are rectangle that's mean this angle this angle this angle this angle this angle this angle all are right angle okay so this is a rectangle so this prism is called right prism clear otherwise they are called oblique prism okay practically right prisms are frequently used the prism is named by the shape of its base for example triangular prism quadrilateral prism pentagonal prism etc follow a figure and this and this are parallel so this and this are base and the base are triangle so it is called triangular prism follow another figure this and this are parallel so this and this are bases of prism and the base that's been enclosed by four sides so this is the quadrilateral so this prism is called quadrilateral prism and follow this or these are base and the base enclosed by five side one two three four five so this is called pentagonal prism clear and follow this figure here are how many sides enclosed the base one two three four five six so this is called hexagonal prism clear note that if the base is a regular polygon regular mean each side of base are equal remember this regular mean each side of base are equal the prism is called a regular prism 
if the base is not a regular polygon <coughs> regular mean not regular mean the side of base are not equal the prism is known as an irregular prism formally related to prism one number the area of total surfaces of a prism this equal to 2 into area of base as yes, there are two bases so we have to multiply 2 and we have to take area of each base as a result we will get total area of base plus area of the lateral surfaces this equal to we can write 20 area of the base plus perimeter of the base into height to number volume this equal to area of the base into height problem the length of the sides of a base of a triangular prism are 3 4 and 5 cm respectively and the height is 8 cm find the volume and area of its total surfaces solution the length of the sides of a base of a triangular prism are 3 4 and 5 cm respectively since 3 square plus 4 square this equal to 9 plus 16 this equal to 25 this equal to 5 square that's mean base square plus perpendicular square this equal to hypotenuse square so the triangle that's mean so the base of the prism is a right angled triangle clear so the base of the prism is a right angle triangle whose area half into base into height you can take any one of this base and other you can take height no problem this equal to 6 square centimeter that's mean area of the base is equal to 6 square centimeter you have to remember this equal to area of its total surfaces this equal to we can write 2 into area of base plus perimeter of base into height 2 into area of base we have already got 6 plus perimeter of base perimeter mean sum of all sides of base as 3 4 and 5 are the length of its sides of base so 3 plus 4 plus 5 this is the perimeter of base into height height is 8 square centimeter this equal to after calculate 12 plus 96 square centimeter this equal to 108 square centimeter this is the required area of its total surfaces and this is one answer and volume this equal to 6 into 8 cubic centimeter 6 mean area of base into height okay this equal to 48 cubic centimeter this is another answer <coughs> assessment problem number 25 in your book exercise 13 will solve and also problem 26 that are related to prism okay so everybody will solve this and submit to the group next now we have to know the definition of <coughs> pyramid definition a solid figure with a polygonal base that's base will be polygonal and triangular faces that meet at a common point is called a pyramid follow the figure that's mean here polygonal base that's mean base is poly polygonal why polygonal because the base enclosed by three sides or more than three sides as here is total number of sides one two three four so this is a polygon and this is quadrilateral or parallelogram here okay and triangular faces that's mean this face this face 
this face or back face all are triangular and meet at a common point that name is vertex this is a common point okay all the triangular face meet at this point clear this is called pyramid that's mean there will they have common vertex and each face will be triangular but base will be any kinds of polygon no problem this is a pyramid remember this the base of a pyramid is uh, any only polygon and its lateral surfaces are of any triangular shape but if the base is a regular polygon regular mean equal that's mean all sides of base are equal and the lateral faces are one grand triangles the pyramid is called regular pyramid that's mean all the triangle are congruent and base that's mean each side of base are equal then it is called regular pyramid the line joining the vertex and any corner of the base is called the edge of the pyramid follow the figure and also follow this line the length of the perpendicular from the vertex to the base is called the height of the pyramid that's mean this is a vertex and this is a base the, the length between vertex and base is a height this is height this is a vertex that's mean common point this is s s mean the line intersecting of two faces that's mean this face this face intersect this line this face this face intersect this line the that are s of pyramid and this is a base clear everyone okay now follow a solid enclosed by four equilateral triangles is known as regular tetrahedron tetrahedron in bengali meaning sotushtalok which is also a pyramid <coughs> this pyramid has 3 plus 3 equal to 6 edges and four vertices the perpendicular from the vertex falls on the centroid of the base centroid mean the intersecting point of medians of a triangle okay this is a centroid again the intersecting point of medians of a triangle this is a centroid clear now follow the figure that's mean this this back side and base total four faces or four surfaces all are triangle and equilateral triangle as all are equilateral triangle so that will also be concrete doesn't matter but as all the triangles are equilateral then and enclosed by four triangular shape that is called tetrahedron that's mean four surface will present this this back and base and total is is mean one two three four five six it is total is all six and vertex that's mean this is common you can consider this is common you can consider this is common and you can common because you can take any one of this face consider as base no problem so here all are common point and all are vertex that's mean total four vertex vertices plural form of vertex that will be vertices four vertices okay formula related to pyramid the area of all surfaces of a pyramid equal to area of the base plus area of the lateral surfaces note that if the lateral surfaces are congruent triangles then area of all surfaces of the pyramid this is equal to area of the base plus half into perimeter of the base into slant height slant height mean follow here if the height of the pyramid is a 
and radius of the inscribed circle of the base is r and l is its length height then l is equal to then l is equal to e square root over a square plus r square and volume this equal to 1 by 3 into area of the base into height <coughs> problem the height of a pyramid with a square base of height 10 centimeter is 12 centimeter that's mean e square base of side 10 centimeter that's mean each side of base is 10 centimeter and height of the pyramid is 12 centimeter as the base of the pyramid is a e square region so area will be side square side square mean 10 square the height is 10 centimeter find its area and volume this is a given condition at first we have to find the perpendicular distance of any side of the base from the center r this is equal to 10 divided by 2 equal to 5 centimeter that's mean we have to find the area uh, radius of the inscribed circle of base as the base is square so radius will be half of the side of each square and the height of the pyramid is 12 centimeter Therefore, the slant height of any lateral surfaces, this equal to square root over a c square plus r square. Now calculate h mean 12, r mean 5. We'll get 144 plus 25 total square root. This equal to square root over 169 centimeter. This equal to 13 centimeter. This is a slant height. <coughs> Therefore, area of all surfaces equal to area of the base plus half into perimeter of the base into slant height. Area of base mean 10 square as the base is a square plus half into perimeter of base. Perimeter of base mean 4 AA mean side of a square or we can take 4, yeah, sorry, a, 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 or we can write 4 into 10, no problem into 13 13 means slant height now calculate 100 plus 260 square centimeter this equal to 360 square centimeter this is answer and its volume this equal to half into area of base into height area of base mean area of e square area of e square means side e square or we can write 10 into 10 into 12 12 is height and we'll get 400 cubic centimeter. This is a required another answer. Now homework. Exercise 13, page number 324. Problems 27, 28, and 29 are related to the formulae of pyramid. So everybody will solve and if any one of you will face problem you can share with me no problem i will help but you have to solve you have to try okay to adapt to this thank you everybody goodbye